After a period of relative lull, gunfights were reported once again in Manipur's Ketalambi village on Thursday. Villagers said at least two houses from the valley have been burned down. The district magistrate of UP's border district, Baraich, on Thursday visited a crisis hit area, Nepal Ganj, Gutong, following reports of communal clash earlier this week. The death toll in Sikkim flash flood has risen to 14, while more than 100 people are missing, the state government confirmed on Thursday. Chief of Samajwadi Party, Akhilesh Yadav, on Thursday, while stating that no party which has relation with BJP will be part of opposition alliance, said that Bahujan Samaj Party will have no entry in the INDIA alliance. Now for the news in details. After a period of relative lull, gunfights were reported once again in Manipur's Ketal Manbi village on Thursday. Villagers said at least two houses from the valley have been burned down. Police source informed that around 9.30 p.m. on Wednesday night, exchange of fire between mis armed miscreants and security forces were reported at Ketal Manbi village in Imphal West. It said 84 mm RL illumination round was fired to provide assistance to the police party during search operation at night when the suspected movement was reported. But the rounds were blind and did not open and one illumination round was found exploded at Moidangpok Kunu. Police clarified that these were however not dangerous and non-explosive, only meant to provide light to searching parties. Unfortunately, some individuals claimed that a bomb was blasted by armed miscreant. Gun firing was also reported on Thursday morning. However, ITLF media in charge, Yinza Vualzong, was not available to confirm whether there was any casualty from the hillside. Ambulances and fire brigade teams rushed to the spot. Women folk have also started coming out on the road during night time. ลงตัวมอลโซตกะอาชีพศาสตร์จีนุขะอิมดิวทูฮิบวินตูนินนังอาชีพศาสตร์นี่ฮิจินนนุงซุยดิงฮอนกุกิสตูเดนออร์แก
Moving on to the next news. The District Magistrate of UP's Border District, Baraj, on Thursday visited the crisis hit area of Nepal Ganj town following reports of communal clash earlier this week. The DM Monica Rani was accompanied by the Superintendent of Police Prashant Verma and others. Authorities from both India and Nepal have sealed the border after the break, outbreak of the violence, leading to severe restrictions on both human and vehicular movement. Trade activities between India and Nepal along the border have also reportedly come to a halt due to the prevailing violence and tension. During the visit, DM and SP met SSB at Rupediha Police Station, Ganga Singh Udawad, commandant of the 42th Battalion, gathering information about law and order from police station, had Rupahida Samshir Bahadur Singh. The DM instructed the officials to maintain vigilance at the Semavarmi area. The team also visited the border area and took stock of the situation. During the inspection, DM obtained information from Jitendra Kumar, junior engineer of the P Public Works Department, about the entry gates to be constructed on Rup Rupaidiha Mushipurva village, BOP, Srinagar, Samatalia, and other district roads and borders and gave necessary guidelines. Chairman of TTAADC Advisory Committee Pradyot Kishore Debarman held a series of meetings with Tripura Chief Minister Dr. Manik Saha, Chief Secretary Tripura and other ministers seeking approval for a batch of projects pertaining to the development of the Tribal Areas Autonomous District Council areas. Debarman met the Chief Minister on Wednesday night, while the meetings with the Chief Secretary and the other ministers took place on Thursday. While speaking to the media persons, after the meetings, Debarman said they have sought funds for a number of development projects in the TTAADC areas and the Chief Minister gave a patient hearing, stating that no political views were exchanged in the meeting. Debarman said that development was the primary agenda of meetings. He also informed that he is leaving for New Delhi to meet the officials of Niti Ayok, replying to a question on the appeal of Congress MLA Sudib Roy Barman for a merger of his party. He said that he had made it clear that he wants to do something for the tribal people and have no longing for any post or position. He said his fight is for the rights of the people. So, development to happen. If development is not going to happen, then we will have engineers to ऑफिसर्स को डॉक्टर्स को रख के क्या करेंगे और प्रेशर बढ़ता है मरीज बढ़ रहे हैं खेरिंग बार में नर्सेस का रिक्रूटमेंट करना है सिर्फ वन करोड़ एटीन लैक्स दिया गया है पीडब्ल्यूडी के लिए ईडीसी में 960 किलोमीटर जमीन है एक करोड़ अठारह लाख में आप दो या तीन किलोमीटर बना सकेंगे तो बाकी लोगों को हम क्या जवाब दें तो फंड तो रिलीज करना चाहिए अगर फंड्स लोग बोलते हैं कि बहुत फंड्स हैं फंड्स हैं तो रिलीज कीजिए अगर रिलीज नहीं करना चाहते तो बताइए क्यों तो ये सब के लिए हमने मेरी मुलाकात की ही सेड दैट हमें थोड़ा दिन का समय दीजिए हम गेट बैक सर यू आर आल्सो गोइंग टू दिल्ली व्हाट इज द शेड्यूल ऑफ एट दिल्ली नो नो आई एम गोइंग टू दिल्ली एंड फ्रॉम दिल्ली आई एम गोइंग टू मीट सम गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ऑफिशियल्स उसके बाद आई एम गोइंग टू भुज बिकॉज माय आंट इज क्वाइट एजेड सो आई एम गोइंग टू गो मीट हर फॉर वन और टू डेज एंड देन आई विल बी बैक बिकॉज आज प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस है टिप्रा मोथा का और चौदह तारीख को हम लोग कुमुलुंग में बड़ा रैली करने वाले हैं क्या लेकिन हमारा पॉलिटिकल रैली होगा आप देखेंगे बड़ा रैली होगा चौदह तारीख को और उसमें उस मंच से मैं मुझे जो बोलना मैं
सब ये जो क्राइसिस हो रहा है फंड का क्या इससे डेवलपमेंट के असर नहीं पड़ा ट्राइबल लोगों को इससे गुस्सा नहीं होगा क्या लगता है नहीं गुस्सा तो सब है लेकिन अगर गवर्नमेंट का एक विंग कहती कि पैसे की कमी नहीं है और दूसरी जगह में पैसा रिलीज नहीं करते तो ये सवाल आप मुझसे ना करें और आप चीफ सेक्रेटरी से पूछ लें कि डेवलपमेंट के लिए कितना पैसा जाता है और सैलरी के लिए कितना पैसा जाता है अगर सैलरी के लिए ही हमने ए बनाया है तब आप डिपार्टमेंट्स नहीं दीजिए तो आप ये सवाल उनसे पूछ लीजिए मैं अभी मैंने अभी कागज़ दिया है एप्लीकेशन दिया है अब डिपेंड करता है कि वो क्या है इनसे बात करने से कुछ नहीं होगा कोर्ट में है पोलिटिकली अगर मुझे जवाब देना है तो मैं दिल्ली में बात करूँगा त्रिपुरा में अगरतला में बैठ कर मैं पोलिटिक पोलिटिकल डायलॉग यहाँ में नहीं करूँगा जो भी मुझे करना है मैं ऊपर में करूँगा सुदीप राय बर्मन और कांग्रेस पार्टी सब लोग जानते हैं कि मैंने आज तक राहुल जी प्रियंका जी और सोनिया गांधी जी के खिलाफ एक शब्द नहीं बोला मैंने जब कांग्रेस पार्टी छोड़ा था तो मेरा फाइट यू जी ने फलेरे का सम था और कांग्रेस को भी एक बात समझ में आ चुकी होगी कि जिन्होंने मुझे उल्टा सीधा कहा था आज वही लोग कांग्रेस में नहीं कोई और पार्टी में बैठे हुए न्यू जीनो फलेरे हिमसेल्फ तृणमूल में जाकर बैठ गए तो मैंने दिल से कांग्रेस के लिए काम किया था और जब मैं कांग्रेस में था मैंने कांग्रेस का काम किया आज मैं तीपरा मौथा में हूँ मैं तीपरा मौथा के लिए था वेन द मैटर कम्स टू पब्लिक लाइफ आई विल टॉक अबाउट इट राइट नाउ माई ओनली एम इज टू गेट माई तीपरा सा पीपल द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन टाइम फॉर शॉर्ट ब्रेक विल बी बैक विद मोर न्यूज I'm now currently working at San Regis Mumbai. It was my best position for taking up a course under GDU GKY, sponsored by MORD Government of India and NSRLM Nagaland. Hi, my name is Pinjam Bhushan. I've completed my automotive service technician and currently working in an auto race dealership as a trainee technician, also known as Parapis. Hello everyone, my name is Rongsun Mula M. Bowen. I did my three-month course in Food and Beverage Service Assistant from TTU GKY. After my training, I was placed at Redstone Q Resort Vishakapatnam. My name is Tali from Winchong Community. Today, I am a broad employer in the Central Park, which is located in Pune. My name is Magaoli and I'm placed in Indigo as a cabinet attendant. My name is Kim Nishoe and I'm from Nagaland and now I'm placed in Air India as a cabin crew. I want to thank the government of India, the government of Nagaland for giving me this opportunity and making my dream come true. Welcome back. Moving on to the next news. Assam Pradesh Congress Committee set a protest in Guwahati on Thursday against the hike in electricity bill in Assam and burned the notice copy of the hike in electricity bill. Party's MP Gaurav Gogoi, who also took part in the protest, said Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma is treating the people as his personal ATM and that every time the government runs into debt, the BJP government increase, increases tax bill duties. Toll tax and therefore poor people bear the burden. He also reiterated that if Congress comes to power, they will provide 200 units of free electricity per month to deserving families. The Chief Ministership of Himanta Biswa Sharma is treating the people of Assam as his personal ATM. Every time the government is running into lakhs and lakhs of rupees of debt, then the BJP government. increases the tax increases the electricity bill increases all forms of duties toll tax and therefore the poor people have to bear the brunt of the failures of the bjp this the land of assam is increasingly being bought by people linked with the chief minister and his ministers and the poor people are increasingly are made poorer because of the increase in taxes and bills we have said that the congress party that when we will come to power like in other states where we are in power that we will provide 200 units per month free 
to the most deserving families. Also speaking on the same issue, he, com he, was, he commented on arrest of AAP Rajya Sabha MP Sanjee Singh. Gogoi said, it shows how the central government is scared and it is just a way of intimidating people of India. So, uh, this, this just shows that how the BJP are scared. The BJP are on the back foot. Last year they summoned Rahul Gandhi. Last year they summoned Sonia Gandhi ji. So th this is just a way of intimidating the people of India. Forget about ED on political parties. They are using these law enforcement agencies on the press, on journalists. Why aren't you talking about that? That how they are intimidating the press, how they are intimidating farmers. They, they were calling farmers Khalistanis. How are they int intimidating students? How are they intimidating universities? So this BJP, especially Prime Minister Modi and Amit Shah, believe in politics of intimidation. But Rahul Gandhi has clearly told everyone, people of India, Daro Mat, and that people of India are listening to the message of Rahul Gandhi. Nobody is scared of Prime Minister Modi. Nobody is scared of Home Minister Amit Shah. The search and rescue operation of 22 missing Indian Army soldiers continues on Thursday. One of them was rescued alive on Wednesday evening. Meanwhile, the Army has informed that troops of Trishakti Corps are extending medical aid and telephone connectivity to civilians and tourists stranded in the areas of Chungtang, Lachung and Lachin in North Sikkim. Army also informed that continued efforts are on to dig out the vehicles submerged under the slush at Burdang near Singtam. The search for the missing persons is now focusing in the areas downstream of Tista River. All other Indian Army personnel posted in Sikkim and North Bengal are safe but are unable to contact their family members due to the disruption of mobile communication. As India will be hosting the Cricket World Cup, it may boost a country's India's economy by as much as 13,500 crore rupees. As estimated by economists at Bank of Baroda, they also say that the event which is being hosted in India for the first time since 2011 also co coincides with the three-month festive season that started in September and will be particularly beneficial for the retail sector as many people will make sentimental purchases of merchandise. According to a report by BQ Prime, the 2023 Cricket World Cup is expected to boost the Indian economy by 13,500 crore. This includes direct spending on tickets, merchandise and other goods and services, as well as indirect spending on tourism and investment. The World Cup is also expected to create jobs in a variety of sectors, including hospitality, transportation, tourism and retail. Overall, the 2023 Cricket World Cup is a major economic opportunity for India. The tournament is expected to generate billions of rupees in revenue and create thousands of jobs. It is also a chance for India to showcase its culture and economy to the world. We'll now take a short break. We'll be back with more news. The DUGKY is sponsored by Ministry of Rural Development, Government of India, and monitored by the Nagaland State Rural Livelihood Mission, Government of Nagaland. We teach them about soft skill, English, time management, teamwork, and in computer, we teach them the basic thing, which is how to work on Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint presentation. Protection Society Mission Vatsiala Scheme is a plan to help achieve goals related to development and protection of children that are in line with the Sustainable Development Goals. It focuses on child rights, raising awareness and strengthening the juvenile justice care and protection system. 
It is funded by the central and state governments in a 60-40 ratio with 90-10 ratio for northeastern states and two Himalayan states. It also encourages individuals or organizations to sponsor a child or group of children. The scheme is implemented as a centrally sponsored scheme in partnership with state governments and UT administrations to support the states and UTs in universities. Welcome back. Moving on to the next news. The death toll in Sikkim flash floods has risen to 14, while more than 100 people are missing. The state government confirmed on Thursday. 22 army personnel are also among the 102 missing people, while 26 remain injured and are seeking treatment following the disaster, triggered by cloudburst over Lonak Lake in North Sikkim. As per the government, a total of 14 bridges have collapsed in the incident. Among these, nine were managed by the Border Roads Organization, while the remaining five were the responsibility of the state government. The National Highway Tent, which connects Gangtok to Siliguri, has been entirely washed away near the Likuvir Jetijora Strait. Once the water level in the Tista River subsides, urgent repair work will be carried out. The intense rainfall has caused extensive damage to with over 150 houses in the industrial belt at Rangpo, located along the banks of the river Tista, being affected. The state, the state government has set up 18 relief camps in Singtam, Rangpo, Dikchu, Adarjgao, which have faced most of the damages. In Chungtang, the relief camps are being set up by the Indian Army due to the lack of connectivity. Chief of Samachwadi Party, Akhilesh Yadav, on Thursday, while stating that no party which has relation with BJP will be part of opposition alliance, said that Bahujan Samaj Party will have no entry in INDI alliance. The SP chief, who is on a two-day visit to Pratagar in Uttar Pradesh, defended AAP MP Sanjay Singh and said, BJP is fearing defeat in the coming election and therefore using agencies such as ED, CBI and IT to arrest them. देखिए ईडी सीबीआई इनकम टैक्स ये कोई आज कल और परसों नहीं इतनी रफ्तार पकड़े हैं जब से बीजेपी को घबराहट है कि वो हारने जा रहे हैं हारते हुई भाजपा कुछ भी करेगी लेकिन इस बार जनता उन्हें हटाकर के ही रहेगी और ये वो लोग हैं जो खुद चुन कर के आए जनता से जो लोग चुनकर के जनता से आए हों उनसे ये उम्मीद करना कि वो अन्याय करेंगे इन संस्थाओं को किसी भी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी के लीडर के खिलाफ लगा देंगे उनको बदनाम करने के लिए लगा देंगे आरोप लगाने के लिए लगा देंगे ये बहुत दिन चलने वाला नहीं है ये बीजेपी की घबराहट है बीजेपी हारने जा रही है जिस और इसलिए हारने जा रही है महंगाई चरम सीमा पर है बेरोजगारी चरम सीमा पर है किसानों की आय दोगुनी नहीं हुई बिजली का मीटर तेज चल रहा है और बिल आ रहा है लोगों के पास तो इसका जवाब क्या है भारतीय जनता पार्टी के पास देखिए पुलिस आपकी हो अगर इसीलिए मैंने कहा जो लोग चुनकर के आए हैं वो ऐसा काम कर रहे हैं ये लोकतंत्र को खत्म कर रहे हैं जो लोग आवाज उठा रहे हैं उनको आवाज दबाना चाहते हैं और ये हारती हुई भारतीय जनता पार्टी बच नहीं पाएगी इन कामों से जनता इसे हटा करके ही रहेगी और जहां तक संजय सिंह का सवाल है या लीकर का मामला है किसी को भी फंसा सकती है सरकार जो पत्रकार सच बोलेगा वो गिरफ्तार हो जाएगा झूठे मुकदमे लग जाएंगे उस पर और मैं तो कह रहा हूं आप तो प्रतापगढ़ के हैं आपको सच दिखाइए कि सड़क पे गड्ढे हैं देखिए एफ हो कि नहीं हो आप दिखा दीजिए कि महंगाई हो गई है तो खिलाफ आपकी कार्रवाई हो जाएगी ये कौन सी नई बात है यूपी में सीट शेयरिंग का ये है कि बीजेपी को हराना है बीजेपी को जीरो करना है सहयोगी को दल कितनी सीट लेंगे हमारा गठबंधन ऐसा है सीटें ऐसी दी जाएंगी जिससे भारतीय जनता पार्टी जीरो हो जाए उसके लिए बहुत बधाई का सेंसस के बाद कम से कम समाज में ये जानकारी हुई है कौन कितना आबादी का है अब अगली लड़ाई ये है कि कैसे हक और सम्मान उनको दिया जाए समाजवादी पार्टी की पहले दिन से कोशिश थी नेताजी रहे 
आदरणीय लालू प्रसाद यादव जी लड़े हैं शरद यादव जी नहीं है उन्होंने लोकसभा में उठाया दक्षिण भारत के जितने नेता हैं वो का संसद चाहते थे उस समय कांग्रेस ने रोका अब बीजेपी रोक रही है खुशी की बात है कि कांग्रेस अब का सेंसस कर रही है इंडिया में शामिल होगी बीजेपी को हराने के लिए जो इंडिया बन गया है गठबंधन यही आगे बढ़ेगा जिसके संबंध भारतीय जनता पार्टी से अच्छे हैं उसको इस गठबंधन में नहीं ले जाएगा बसपा नेता के घर पे नहीं बसपा नेता की नहीं बसपा नेता जो इस जिले की कार्यकर्ता है अब आप भी इस तरह की बात करोगे तो फिर कहाँ जाएंगे हम That is all we have for the prime time we'll let in thank you for watching on wheel tv Protection Society Mission Vatsiala scheme is a plan to help achieve goals related to development and protection of children that are in line with the sustainable development goals. It focuses on child rights, raising awareness and strengthening the juvenile justice care and protection system. It is funded by the central and state governments in a 60-40 ratio with 90-10 ratio for northeastern states and two Himalayan states. It also encourages individuals or organizations to sponsor a child or group of children. The scheme is implemented as a centrally sponsored scheme in partnership with state governments and UT administrations to support the states and UTs in universalizing access and improving quality of services across the country. The fund sharing pattern is in the ratio of 60-40 between center and state and union territories with legislature respectively. The fund sharing pattern between center and state is in the ratio of 90-10 for the northeastern states that is Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Manipur, Meghalaya, Mizoram, Nagaland, Sikkim and Tripura and two Himalayan states that is Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand and UT of Jammu and Kashmir. For union territories without legislature, it is 100% central share. Mission Vatsiala scheme supports the children through non-institutional care under private aided sponsorship, wherein interested sponsorship, individuals, institutions, company, banks, industrial units, trust, etc. can provide assistance to children in difficult circumstances. The district magistrates take measures to encourage individuals or public-private sector organizations to sponsor a child or a group of children or an institution. Such arrangements are subject to stipulations as per the Juvenile Justice Care and Protection of Children Act 2015 and rules thereof. Dunya te thakya sapa pani kuntu khali 0.3 percent hase idu tu khali khauli garne eklan hoy idu sapa pani tu ami khan agriculture te खाव सामान खान ओलावली करने भी चलाए और इधु पानी खान वाइल्ड लाइफ सपोर्ट करे एक हेल्दी फंक्शनिंग इको सिस्टम दिव करने इधु करने पानी खान तो पल्यूशन फ्री राख लगे और आम खान लगा वेस खान मिसामिशी रिवर बैंक्स खानते नफेलावले लगे कुंतुपरा पानी पल्यूट कर दे साल ट्वेंटी नाइन्टीनते सरकार पर जल शक्ति अभियान लॉन्च कर नेशन वाइड वाटर कंजर्वेशन कैम्पेन ते कुंतुपरा सिटीजन्स खान के पानी कंजर्व करोले इनकरेज करे ग्रास रूट लेवल ते पर इधो साल जल शक्ति अभियान पर रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स खान क्लाइमेट कंडीशंस हिसाब ते करोले इनकरेज कर साल ट्वेंटी ते वन स्कीम खान एक प्रिपेरेटरी स्टेप लॉन्च कर जल शक्ति अभियान कैच द रेन कैम्पेन को खिना कुंतु एक मैसेफ अवेरनेस ड्राइव से नेहरू युवा केंद्र संगठन लोगो कोलैबोरेट कर इधो कैम्पेन ते देश लगा 623 डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स लगा यूथ क्लब्स खान भी इन्वॉल्व असे पानी कंजर्व करो करने रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग पर
Kurgaon based company Zeta Farms Aro, Toka Multi Purpose Cooperative Society Milagina, Aji Joint Press Conference Loshi, Naglinde, Agro Aro Agri Business Investment Kurule Nimide. Zeta Farms to farmers can get advanced agriculture techniques, modern equipment, Aro reliable market Dibokoshi, farmers can produce Kurule Nimide. IB Dilaga details as well. Today, I would like to thank all of you, the media fraternity, for coming today to our program. This is a uh, press conference called by us uh, between Toka MPCS and Zeta Farms. Uh, we, we have some certain announcements which we would like to share with you. Uh, and uh, uh, as sir, uh, Mr. Rituraj, he will be briefing you all on the today's conference. Thank you. Yeah, hello everyone. Thank you for having us here. Um, let me tell you first, introduce you to Zeta Farms, what we do. Zeta Farms is a company which is trying to revive the whole agriculture ecosystem for the better good, for creating food security, for creating sustainability, for creating carbon positivity, regenerative agriculture and all. Okay. How we do, how we treat ourselves as different from a traditional farming, farming ecosystem is that we always want to have the work done at the root level. Okay. We don't try to develop the supply chain or you can say the tech and all. We, we make use of these things but we don't try to develop it because other counterparts or the and other entities in the same industry are doing that very well. Okay, Nobody was focus, focusing on the root level of the farming part of it. Now, the as of date, Zeta Farms is like working over approximately 10,000 acres of land area in 14 plus states of India. And we are catering to more than 1200 farmer families as of date and it is being increase, increasing day by day. Through Zeta Farms, we have taken up some initiatives like the Zeta Rojgar Yojana wherein we are giving employment or you can say employment system to one person over every two acres of land area. The perks and the benefits of this kind of engagement would be that he will be getting a monthly secured income along with the benefits of PF, insurance, child education benefits and the most prominent and the important thing of this Rojgar Yojana was the pension scheme which only after government we are the only we are proud to say that we are the only startup in this ecosystem which is creating a pension fund for the farmers now coming on to nagaland we have been so lucky and grateful enough that uh, we have been provided like good land opportunities and the agriculture project opportunities here in nagaland and to be true uh, considering what we say vastu mein bolte na northeast is like the lucky place in a architectural ecosystem or a place there so northeast becoming a lucky thing for us also and we are getting good projects over here and starting from the rubber nursery project which we have we are doing with toka society with kashi uh, we have been introduced to him through hml for a rubber factory project but the things have evolved so much that we are also now eng engaging and talking over multiple different projects like the feed 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 development or the feed production for the piggery and poultry there we have been talking over growing uh, or you can say supply chain of pineapples by after growing them. We are also talking over like creating processing industry setups for the leguminous crops and all. We are also looking forward to have certain kind of perennial crop system uh, in a diversified capacity. Now the burning question is why the traditional farmer is not able to grow if we are, we are able to do it. Okay. So the only difference was we think that each of the farmer are very skilled and they are working in a freelancer capacity. Right? Everybody is a freelancer. And the and the real problem with any freelancer is getting work. So we as a corporate entity, we are creating a management layer and we are providing the opportunity in a corporate environment, in a SOP system to all these freelancers so that all the freelancers have a common vision for the betterment of the whole corporate or the entity there. Okay, that's how we are making it, making a difference. We are engaging the best tech available in the market best infrastructure available in the market in the format of IoT sensors and the data analytics part and all. We give them the knowledge about that what kind of inputs and materials are to be given, when it is to be done. Aap logo ne suna hoga ki do pados wale farmer bhi different practices use karte for growing the same crop, right? Ek bolta hai ki mujhe mere grandfather ne sikhaya tha, I have learned it from my grand grandparents and all. The other will say that I have learned it from the center of excellence on the KVK farms. Even for the growing of the same crop, they are using different practices. We want to we want to have a standard system in place. That's what we are doing and we are really grateful enough to have this kind of opportunities in Nagaland. We have been also offered approximately 5,000 acres of land area in Chivino district. He, with him we are 
having a good big project of 25 lakhs plants creation of rubber nursery and what we are seen in talking in terms of numbers nagaland has approximately 65000 hectares of agriculture land area out of which only approx 600 hectares of land area is being utilized for the agriculture purposes or you can say a optimal agriculture purpose so you can see the opportunity which is available to us and considering the agrarian state and the last and we believe the next 10 years or the next decade would be of agriculture only people will not stop eating food okay so we want to really bank up on this opportunity and take this ahead because it has really good potential yeah so this is from my side On the financial base, how much are you planning to invest? So, uh, it is like uh, we 